Good afternoon students. In this session we are going to learn how to develop a student feedback form on faculty in Django. That is students are going to provide certain feedback on the faculty. So we are going to collect at the end of each semester. So here Django provides a simple framework to develop the student feedback form on faculty. So first I am going to show my faculty. So these are our faculty names. So students are going to provide a feedback on the faculty based upon their performance in the semester. So what are the requirements? So the requirements include forms.py file and as well as views.py file, right? I quickly open my VS code. So in my VS code, forms.py includes a form with a name called student feedback form. So I am going to define a class with a name called student feedback form, which accepts the values, student name, faculty name, student role number, student section, and finally the comments that is student feedback. So all these fields are care field, care field. This is an integer field. Since it is a feedback, we are going to mention the widget as form.text area so that the feedback will go for multiple lines. So this is forms.py file. Now what contains the views.py file? So views.py file contains the actual code that is here I am going to define a method called feedback view and I am going to import my student feedback form using from my app.forms. Now I am going to define a method with a name called feedback view and I am going to call the student feedback form. If the data is successful, if the form is successful, Hence, here I am going to call requested method equal to post. Then I am going to print a message called form validation success. And I am going to greet the student. Thank you for submitting the feedback on the faculty. Now, the values which I have defined in forms.py file, that is the values which are provided by the students are going to be obtained using form.cleaned underscore data. Here, form.cleaned underscore data will use the output in the command line of the Django. So, this program does not require any type of database connection. All the feedback which is submitted by the students are going to be collected in command line prompt that I am going to show at the end of the video. Now here I am going to call form.clean underscore data of student name, faculty name, roll number, section and finally the feedback which is provided by the student. And I am going to render all these data to student feedback.html. Now, what contains the student feedback.html? So, in student feedback.html, simply I am loading the template tag that is static template tag and I am going to add certain stylings. Now, the first styling includes welcome to KBN College Vijayawada and I am going to greet the students as student feedback form on faculty for second MCA. Now, I am going to use the pre tag. So, simple. So, here I am going to add the faculty names and as well as the subjects they have deal. So, the following are the list of the faculty and their subjects. So, some of the faculty names and I am going to close the H1 tag. And now, I am going to open the form tag and I am going to add the tag that is form dot as underscore p which represents if the form is valid. I am going to add the CSR underscore token also. The values which are submitted by the students are saved in the command prompt. And finally, I am going to close the center tag, body tag and as well as HTML also. In urs.py file, I am going to call the views method that is views.feedback view. So this is forms.py, views.py, studentfeedback.html and urs.py. Now, I am going to open my command prompt and I am going to run the code. So let me navigate to my folder. Now, I am going to navigate to my folder. So here I am going to start the server python, uh, let me say manage.py run server. And I am going to press the enter. Now I am going to open my feedback. So here you can clearly see that welcome to KBN college student feedback on the faculty. Now I am going to write a fac student name called Ravi. I, let me add my name as a faculty name and I am going to add some of the role number of the student. So let me, he belongs to a section. So the faculty has excellent uh, skills in Django. So let me click to submit the feedback. Now the feedback is submitted. Now where we can find the feedback, so let me open my command prompt or let me open my VS code. So in my VS code, I am going to open this one. So that is in the terminal output, you can clearly see that thank you for submitting the feedback from the faculty. Student name is Ravi, faculty name is Ram Pavan Kumar, role number section A and the student feedback is faculty has excellent skills in Django. Now we can add the another one. So let me say another student name is Sanjay. So let me add the another faculty name as Shamim and I am going to add the role number as 123. So he belongs to the B section. So the faculty has good knowledge in AI. So here I am going to submit my feedback. No feedback is submitted. So let me check here. Here you can clearly see that student name Sanjay, faculty name Shamim, role number, section and faculty has good knowledge in AI. And here you can clearly see that for every submit, the HTTP post request method is going to be different. Now I am going to check the final one. So let me say Adhya. Let me add this. 
and let me add one of the faculty name as uh, my faculty name Sufi Prasad sir and I am going to add 100 and I am going to uh, make it as B section yes faculty has good knowledge in our program so I am going to save the feedback here the feedback is saved so here you can clearly see that the third feedback is also saved so in this way we can collect n number of feedbacks from the students and all these feedbacks are going to be saved in command prompt of the Django so in this way we can develop the terminal output in Django in order to develop a student feedback form thank you